अपेक्षित सारी माउंट पड़ी थी
in. So when you see this we just take your referral letter, refer to the EAT, suspected mouth breathing, referring to you for expert opinion. Don't tell anything, tell the stance of mouth breathing. It can be because of certain anatomical reason which need to be diagnosed by the EAT. If EAT is saying there is no anatomical problem, okay, I will think of the case for habit breaking of rights. So anytime mouth breathing patient with all these features come, uh, refer the patient first to EAT. Because these are the few things that you should be must doing. If you don't do fixed down it's also not a problem. You can minimize the severity of myoclonal by treating all these small things first. If your EAT is saying there is anatomical problem, it need to be treated with the EAT first. It can be nasal spray, it can be a surgical correction, so that all is their area where we have no idea. We even don't know there is adenoid. That's why I was uh, uh, thinking the doctor told we will look for adenoids. It's very difficult to know the adenoids. Sometimes for us we may be looking into tonsil and telling that this is adenoid. Uh, very rarely we know which is tonsil and which is adenoid. We have an idea it is somewhere there. That is dentistry. We are given only a vague idea because we learned only head and neck. Of that we learned what is only where is maximally nerve, mandibular nerve and some other nerve uh, for what for for x-ray purpose. Now if you ask me which are the branches of maxillary nerve, I am nice and But we also keep good anesthesia, you know, because we know it is somewhere there. So we will palpate and we will send our assumption. Sometimes I think it will act, sometimes it will not act. If it didn't act, we will give one more anesthesia. Still now don't ask where is the anatomy, where is the nerve, which are nerve, is it necessary to give a lingual nerve block for lower root canal, all that we don't know, but we know how to do it. So our anatomical knowledge is slightly less, though we say I am anatomically, I think I know where is that, everything around, but still don't come into the patient that this is enlarged adenoids. This is the work of ENT, where they are trained, you know. If the ENT is saying there is anatomical problem, they are treating, still you have to take up the case after the ENT problem is done. Or if the ENT is saying there is no anatomical problem, you have to take up the case for doing what? What is the treatment for your mouth? Which appliance? Mouth breathing and breaking That's all. That's all our English words. Mouth breathing can be broken by mouth breathing and breaking appliance. That's all. The author is very easy to understand. It's all for English words. We just came on jumping. Oral screen. That's the only appliance. You go for oral screen. Your oral screen. Do remember when you take the measurement for oral screen. You need to have a good upper and lower impression because your sulcus depth should be very well recorded in your impression. We can record your sulcus depth properly. The advantage is that your extension also will be perfect. I am sure many of the doctors is just colored just to show we will be passing it around. Many of the doctors should have seen a ring here in oral screen. What is that called as? Horse modification. We have written to two marks, uh, short marks, don't go open. That time you also have got the two marks, but the only thing is that these are only there in the essay part and as well as short marks. That horse modification is there. So whenever you take upper lower impression, sending to the lab, deep impression, you should make sure the lab is fabricating the oral screen with the horse modification. Can anyone tell me how long you have to wear the oral screen per day? Can you account that? Can you test Oral screen. Because these are all basics. I have not gone into our topic yet. These are all the few things that we should be going first. How long do you have to wear the oral screen? Yes, minimum of three hours when the patient is conscious. First in the night. Why you have to wear three hours conscious? Because one of the features I told was short upper limb. So, lip lengthening exercise can be done with the help of oral screen. So, night you have to wear plus 3 hours when the patient is conscious. When the patient is conscious, maximum time the patient should strain the upper and lower limb so that it will be in close to form. Plus, you should tell the patient minimum 20 times. They should try to remove the oral screen. When it is half removed, they should try to dump it back. So, you can remove it slightly by half, parent or the child themselves can do it. When it is half removed, you have to try to gulp it back with the lip pressure. So lip lengthening exercise is done with the help of hot modification. So maximum time, the lip should be closed. And in a day, minimum of 40 times, they should do the lip exercise by trying to pull it out. When it is half done, you should try to gulp it back.
Your treatment time can be minimum of one and a half years. When you get a oral screen from the lab, you need to place small three holes with your surgical bar. Place small three holes on the oral screen because you are not going to break the habit all over day. You are allowing some amount of air to be taken through the hole. Every bi monthly, you close each hole. So, how many months you require to close the three holes? Six months. Plus, one year you have to wear the oral screen. So, minimum time of wear of oral screen is in a day is three hours when the patient is conscious. Why? Because you need to do two lip lengthening exercises. That is, maximum time the lip should be closed and minimum 40 times they should try to remove the oral screen and they should try to help it back with the lips. Total treatment time can be one and a half year. The first six months, by monthly, you are closing each hole with the help of one of the Following which, the next one year, you are supposed to wear the oral screen as such. I even suggest some of my patients to continue wear of oral screen until the permanent dentition has fully erupted. That is first follow to first follow. If the patient is really textbook size one and a half year, why is that? You have a constricted upper arm, right? Because of the mouth breathing. Is this a habit breaking appliance or a myofunctional appliance? Has this something to do with the muscle? Yes, because it is keeping the muscles away. So the arch constriction which are there, it is not going to be corrected. But further constriction will not happen as long as the oral screen is there. So textbook says one and a half year, but if the patient is cooperative, you can take a new impression, you can give a new oral screen without the holes after one and a half year. Just because it even acts like a myofunctional appliance. So your treatment time should be kept in mind. If the patient is cooperative, you can continue wear of a new oral screen under the order permanent dentition from first molar to first molar river. Your upper lower impression should be perfect. Don't do any treatment without the approval of the ENT. If ENT does the treatment, still the patient should report to you back to do the oral screen. Because just because of habit, the patient should have developed this. Because of anatomical problem, this patient should have developed as habit also. So you have to break the habit. If you don't break the habit, especially in mouth breathing, the major chance of relapse will be mouth breathing at the same time as well as tongue crossing. What is a common what is a common habit which is seen apart from tongue crossing and mouth breathing? Common habit. How do you diagnose tongue sight? Doctor, how do you diagnose tongue sight? Calculus, any other answer? This is the only oral habit which we don't have to diagnose. This will be diagnosed by the parent and they will tell us that the patient is having tongue. Don't go and put the lip pad or don't go thumb by anything around. They will tell you textbooks like uh, uh, digital thumb pad. 